Hi guys, so I've had a request to do a look with the palette that I received from the Walmart uh, Beauty Box, which is the Luna Magic Uno palette. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm not going to create anything crazy today. I'm just going to create something that I would normally wear on a daily basis. So I'm going to start on my crease with this color right here, which is called Poppy. So I'll watch my dad answer because that's what I call him. <sighs> he didn't say anything, which is weird. All right, so we're going to store that. Um, and it's, it's kind of has a little bit of a pink in it. It's like a pink with brown or brown with pink, however you want to say it. Okay, it seems to be a little powdery in the palette. I'll show you. You guys know that I go very, very gentle on, with my uh, eyeshadows. And that seems to be a little powdery. So let's see how it performs on the eyes. If it's something that um, is going to give me a lot of fallout. So far, so good. It is blending nice. It is so hot here today. I know some of you guys have snow on your freezing. But I actually had a long sleeve shirt that I was going to um, tape with. Um, and I had to take it off because it was super, I was sweating. And I have the air conditioning set at 73, which if my dad was in here, it would be on 72 because I'm very hot. So that blended very nicely. It looks very nice and pretty. I like this shade actually. So are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? I still have not gone shopping. And today is Tuesday the 26th. I want to wish Leanne Sereo a happy birthday. Today is her birthday. So those of you that subscribe to her, if you don't know that today is her birthday, I want to wish her a happy birthday. I hope she has an amazing, amazing day. She deserves it. She's an amazing person. And if you guys don't know who she is, you really need to go check her out. I will lick. Why do I always say that? I'm always licking. I will link her channel below. Um, I kind of did a different shape over here. I kind of, as you can see, I kind of did like a, a sharper V. So I'm going to try to fix this one so that they match. I don't know what I was thinking. I normally don't. I'm sweating, guys. Ooh, I am hot. And my air is on. Please kick in. Anyway. So, um, I have not gone shopping, so I will do that first thing in the morning. I was going to go today, but I did not. And um, I got up this morning not feeling well, and I feel better now. But my eyebrows are also very serious today because I did a boo-boo. Okay, so before I tell you about that, let me tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to use this one right here to darken it up a little bit and put it on my outer V. And this one is called Diamante, which is diamond. And I'm going to use the same brush. So I'm just going to tip it very lightly. And this is like a burgundy red. I am so tired, so sweaty. My makeup is going to be destroyed by the time I'm done. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, anyway, so tomorrow morning, uh, I'm going to go and do my shopping. Yeah, nothing like leaving it to the last minute. But I really don't enjoy shopping for groceries for holidays. The store is so crazy. After work, everybody goes after work. So I'm hoping that if I go, which is usually what I do, Every year, I'll go early in the morning, a couple of days before the holiday, and then the stores are not that crowded. So, don't I wish I could shop online for that? I guess you can, now they have the service, but I don't like that. I like to pick my own fruits and vegetables and like my own ham and whatever it is I'm going to make. Oh guys, I have to turn the air down. I am dying. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So this is a very, very pretty, like a reddish wine color 
with a little bit of brown and that's my spot there so that has nothing to do with the shadow the shadow is not causing that I just have that spot right there that doesn't like to grab onto any pigment there are very few shadows that actually cover that and it doesn't matter what primer I use it still does not cover it so I'm gonna go back to the first uh, sh shade which is poppy and go over it the outer edge kind of mix both of them together And now I am going to get a different uh, fluffy brush and kind of blend. So recently I received, which I'm still testing, and I will uh, share with you guys as soon as I'm done testing, but it's probably going to take me a couple of weeks, um, some perfumes um, as PR, which is kind of exciting. It's probably, except for Jura Cosmetics, which... You know, they at one time um, welcomed a lot of small YouTubers. And this was probably like about a year ago. And I applied and at first I was put on a waiting list and then I was accepted. So that makes me very happy. So like um, every quarter they um, give me an allowance for me to go shopping. But um, this perfume company and they're out of California sent me i'm not going to say the name of the company yet because i want to test it before i even mention them and you know sound like any kind of promotion but um you would think okay i am ready for my what i want to do in the center of my lid Let's see I wonder if this will look pretty this green it kind of comes out doesn't come out green at all I think I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna try it first with a pencil and I'm gonna use one of these um, packing pencils and see how it works and then if not I'll use my finger and it's called dinero which is money so anyway um, they approached me and they wanted to know if I would be interested in trying out their scents and then you know um, do a review on them so I told them you know as long as you know there was no catch and I could do an honest review sure why not I will be happy to you know test it okay this is not going on very well as you can see it I mean it's very very light so I think I brought my glitter glue let me see if let me get it really quick and see if I can use that with it Okay, so I have my NYX glitter glue. So I'm gonna put it on the other side of the same brush. Just a tiny bit. I don't wanna create a big mess. So I am going to apply that to this area first. So anyway, they asked me if, you know, if I would test this, so I said as long as I can give my honest opinion. Um, sure, why not? So they sent me like um, two full size bottles and then like six purse, spray, purse sprays, which are very nice. They come in their own little container that you can, you know, each one of them came like that. None of them came loose. So the packaging was really nice, but um, I haven't tested all of them. I've only used a couple of them. But now if I were the owner of such company and I wanted anyone to try out my well i don't know what happened there that looks kind of funky uh anyone to try my product would i not ask them what kind of fragrances do you normally like and i mean they have a lot of different choices and um and send that fragrance to me instead of just pick and choose six of them and um so far Okay, I'm going to try this one here, which is called Playa, which is beach, and try to lighten this area over here that looks a little too dark for my taste. So anyway, they um, 
you know, they send that to me, and uh, a lot of the scents is not anything that I would normally wear on a day to day. So, I don't know. I think I got, got carried away with a with the glitter guys but a little too much there and that green it looks prettier in the palette than see if I can get a different kind of brush so I don't know I'm hoping that when I test because I really want to give an honest opinion and I'm, tr I'm hoping that I can be unbiased and give an opinion that even if it's not the type of scent, oh boy, I'm making this worse, that I would normally like. <laughs> okay, this is real YouTube 101. <laughs> I am really messing up this look here. That I can still give an unbiased opinion as to you know how long they last okay i'll tell you what i'm gonna do since i messed that up so badly i'm gonna do a different look on this eye so that you can we can see what's going on um i really don't like that green let me swatch it for you if you can see it has like and I had other shades like this, but I don't know. I don't know how it looks on the eye. Maybe with, but I don't normally do that. You know, like if you do a cut crease, but I normally never ever do cut creases. That's just something I don't do. But then I got this glitter all over my. Okay, so let's go for it. All right, so we're gonna try something else in the center of my eye. We are going to try a little bit of this purple. So anyways, uh, hopefully I should be able to, in a couple of weeks, give you an idea as to those perfumes. Um, I know that not everybody likes the same kind of tones. So, you know, I don't wanna judge it so harshly. But you would think that they would say, hey, what kind of scents do you normally like so that we know what to send you? No, they just, oh, you want it? you'll try it for us? Okay, this one has fallout. Um, and they just sent it to me. So. Powder brush. Oh, and it didn't just brush out. Oh my gosh, this is not a good makeup day. Okay, we'll fix it afterwards with some concealer. I am sweating, I am hot. My eyeshadow is not working with me, not cooperating. Now this purple is pretty though. I must say that it's very pretty. Okay, and that purple was called Regaton. And now I'm gonna use Salsa. I think I'm gonna use Playa again, which is beach. over here on the inner yeah I don't want to get too too creative and ruin it too okay that's better I like this look better much better what not to do what to do boy am I gonna have to fix that with I'm gonna bring some concealer and I'll show you guys how I fix it sometimes if I get too much um junk on my face that won't come off with a brush and probably the reason it's not coming out for with a brush is because i am very hot and i am sweating a little bit and it's sticking to my face which could have been the issue with this shadow also but this one worked okay okay so i like that this is pretty i don't like that let me see if I can wipe this off and match this eye and then we'll go on. All right, so I caught it up up to the part where I put the purple on there. So we are going to put the purple now that is called reggaeton. With reggaeton, if, uh, for those of you that don't know, is a dance. 
that is a pretty purple I have to say so oh yeah this is a lot pretty that purple definitely has fallout if you guys can see it maybe I need to pat it more than swipe it it's a little too late but it's a beautiful beautiful purple okay let's see if I do it with see I did it with a bigger brush to begin with and it's a little better I still have a little bit of purple there so I do have to fix it okay so let's do Playa Beach which is the one that I use on the inner part of my lid but see guys if you do something and you don't like it make up white and just you know be careful not to take the rest of your makeup off I should have known it was not gonna be a good makeup day because let me tell you how this started when I went to go do my eyebrows which I always do my face makeup first and then I normally when I'm not filming I even do my eyes first and then I do my eyebrows last but if I'm doing a video I do my eyebrows before my eyes so when I went to go do my eyebrows I used the pencil and then I picked up what I thought was an eyebrow setter setter and it was an eyebrow oil yeah no that did not work so I try without messing up the rest of my makeup to clean that but it was not very easy to do I'm gonna put a little bit here in the corner and I had, then I had to fix it again with the pencil and it came out super dark so anyway, now I'm going to try to fix why, what I did, um, the purple that's on my face. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of concealer and I am using the Catrice. Yes, the Catrice One Drop Coverage Concealer. I love this stuff. And it's very thin. Um, it doesn't feel heavy at all on your face. And um, <laughs> it doesn't sink that much into your... Uh, lines. I'm not going to tell you they don't sink at all because everything sinks on fine lines, but it is not that bad. It is very high coverage without being a heavy product. You don't need a lot. And my dark circles today are crazy. So I'm going to put a little bit for the other side. And I have this in the shade, what shade are you? Oh, you can't see it, nude, nude beige. I don't think they have that many shades to pick from, just like their foundation. I also like their foundation, but uh, as far as shades to pick from, they really don't have that many. They really need to work on that, but. So this is better. You can't see it as much. So I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, first color that I use, the uh, Poppy. I know he's going to answer me any second. Anytime I say that this name, I expect him to say what. I'm going to use a really thin brush and just go under my eyes, under my lower lash line. Now this doesn't really have a color that you can, or at least that I'll, I would like to wear on my brow bone. Um, this is the lightest colors that they have, and I don't think I would want that on my brow bone. And they also don't have like a matte vanilla shade to kind of set your entire lid which is something that I really wish every palette would have I would almost rather have that than one for my inner corner because you can always use like a highlighter or something for your inner corner but um, I hate it when they don't have something that you can just use on uh, to set your entire eye okay I'm gonna take a little bit of the Diamante, this one right here, 
and go under my go owner go over my inner corner right here because the purple kind of took some of that away and I want to darken that up a little bit and the foundation that I'm wearing today is the Catrice one I try to keep everything drugstore and this palette is sold at Walmart or you can get it on their website and I do have a 30% off coupon that came in the beauty box and I will list it again I listed it in the um, Walmart um, beauty box unboxing but I'll go ahead and list it again for those of you that did not watch that video all right so now I am going to take my wet and wild and this is supposed to be for up here and I'm going to use a little bit here since I didn't have anything to it is a brown <laughs> a brown bone pencil I, th I, th I think I, I need to stay away from makeup for the rest of the day but see this is real life you guys can't say that Clara doesn't make mistakes she does them I make mistakes I film them and I show you guys this is a real thing sometimes it comes off flawlessly and sometimes it doesn't anyway I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner in my waterline all right and now for mascara I am going to use the essence volume primer this is the Milani uh, highly rated mascara and it's very very nice but this is a mascara that when I used it the first time I really didn't like it but after I used it like three or four times and it dried out a little bit and then I really do enjoy it all right so um, I forgot to tighten line my eyes see I'm all over the place today now this is not uh, Oh, this is tart and that's the only thing that, but that's the only pencil I have here so it's the only thing I'm not I'm using that is not a drugstore I do have drugstore ones I have Milani I have essence but I don't feel like going to get it so if that bothers you when I do that I'm sorry it bothers me when I see people do it I feel like they're poking their eyes but we're not and I know we're, they're not poking their eyes because I do it too but feels like it see this mascara is pretty decent this is with which we say one coat but how many times did I go with my lashes like a hundred but it's very nice um, I don't mind when my lashes look a little clumpy I know some people don't like them my daughter doesn't like that she likes for her lashes to look like um, the Thrive Cosmetics that separates your lashes and makes them long but doesn't make them clumpy I like that too but I actually like this also because this makes it look like you have more lashes I think you know it fills them out more all right so now for my lower lashes I am going to use the um, the Super Sizer by CoverGirl because this one does not smudge and 99% of the last the uh, mascaras smudge on my eyes All right, now let's use some bronzer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. And this is a Prime Infuse bronzer. And this is in the shade uh, Forever Sunkissed. And I'm just going to use a little bit. This is a very pretty bronzer. Very affordable. I think they're like $6.00. And it's very nice. It doesn't have a lot of red in it or um, really dark. I don't know. Some of them are like kind of grayish. I don't know how to explain it. But this is nice. This really is nice. For being such an affordable bronzer, I really do enjoy it. 
Okay, and now for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Pixie, and this is one that we I received in, I believe it was Ipsy, and this is the one that has the dual uh, colors in it, and this is called Peach Honey. That's what it says. It says Blush Duo. This doesn't look like a blush to me. Blush Duo. No. That's a highlighter to me. Let's see. Yeah, that's not a blush. It's crazy. How pale would you have to be to wear that as a blush? I really like that purple. That is very pretty. I would say if you use that green, be careful with it. Um, I want to try it again and use the green. But today, it just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. I didn't like the way that that looked. It's a pretty color, but I mean, this purple is beautiful. And except for the little bit of fallout, and that's the only one that I found that I found, you know, I had fallout with. Um, yeah, that's not bad. And this is very subtle. I don't see how they can call this a blush at all. But it's that peach honey blush. You guys are going to be hearing snoring soon because he fell asleep. All right, so now for my bronze um, blush, I'm going to use a Milani. And this one is called Red Vino. This is beautiful and it looks very dark. And this is very, very pretty. You just have to go lightly. So I'm just going to dip the tip of my brush in there. See, it's still too much. See, not for both cheeks. Just have to go lightly. I'll just um, fix it with my powder brush. There we go. <laughs> he was playing his game, which when he does that, it gives me a chance to film because he stays awake. But if he goes to sleep, I get it. All right, guys. So now for lipstick. Um, I have a couple of options. I think I'm going to use this one by Flower Beauty. I have brought one by Sephora that even though it's not drugstore, I think it's very affordable. And this shade is gorgeous. And this one came in the Christmas kit that I purchased and it is called Ice Dancing. But I'm going to use this one by um, Flower Beauty, which I guess is more accessible. And that is the shade. And then it brings a gloss on the other side. And this one is in the shade Honey Nude. So, let's see, is this, this is NYX. So I'm going to use the NYX lip pencil in... I don't know, guys. I'll write it below or list it on the screen because I can't find it. Okay, guys. So this is the uh, lip liner. And this is a pretty nude color. So now let's use the lipstick. I wish that, let me see, I have another lip liner here. That lip liner was not very pigmented and the lipstick is also light. This one is by Milani. Let me see if it's darker. Yeah. I like for my lips to be a little more defined. That, that lipstick was too light and you can barely see it. And I'm going to use a little bit of the gloss that is on the other side. These are really nice because it has the lipstick on one side and the gloss on the other. And this is the gloss. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the center of the lip. So that is 
my look for today. Um, I really do like the eye look. I think that the eyeshadows performed very well. The mattes did anyway. Um, the purple performed beautifully, except that it, ha it did have fallout. And um, maybe if you use it, I would use a tapping motion instead of swiping like I did. And the next time I use it, I'm going to try that. And I should have tried that on my second eye, but I, most of the time I swipe my eyeshadow more than tap it. So it's just, you know, what I'm used to. But if you tap it, it will probably give you less fallout. But I think it turned out really pretty. The one that is called Playa, the, the, the one in the um, inner side of my lid, that one didn't really give me any fallout. So that one was very nice. The matte ones performed beautifully. They really did. These eyes are not even, but that's not the shadow. There goes my, my background music. But definitely beautiful. Let me um, swatch a couple of the other colors for you so that you can see what they look like. I'm really dying to use that yellow. That yellow looks really pretty. It's like a gold more than a yellow. And I really wouldn't go with what I have now or I would stick it in my eye. <laughs> Not in my eye, on my eye. Now the blue, I swatched it before, and it seems to be a little powdery. I have not used it on my eyes, so I really don't want to say, but it's beautiful. Look, those are beautiful shades. So I would love to create another look with this palette. Let me know if you'd like to see another one. I would love to create one using the blue and the gold. I think that would be really pretty. And uh, yeah, but they're definitely pigmented. There's the purple that I use, and then the two hot pinks that they have in here. So, and this color looks super pretty. Yeah, that bronzy one. That is really pretty. So, anyways, I really do enjoy this look. I think it looks very nice. I like the palette. Something that I would definitely use again. Overall, I really do enjoy it. That green one is the only one that, I don't know, maybe it's just that color doesn't look good on me. Let me know, but I have it in other palettes and I've used it and it's nice. And it's, I don't know, it's just that when I put it on my eye, see it looks pretty. You can't see it there. Me and my swatching abilities. It looks pretty on the hand. Maybe just not all over the entire lid. Maybe like just in the center of the lid. I don't know, I have to play with it. But um, definitely the purples look very, very nice. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to create another look using some of the blues and the pinks. And that gold is gorgeous. I'd be more than happy to do that. So I love you. If I don't see you or you don't see me before Thanksgiving, I hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving, a very blessed one. Um, you know, remember to count your blessings because even though when we're going through a hard time, we seem to just dwell on the negative things that are going through in our lives. And we forget about the little stuff that really does make a difference in our lives. And if they were not there, we will miss them for sure. Um, trust me, I know there's many challenges that I face on a daily basis, but I still consider myself very blessed to have a beautiful family. You know, not just my dad and my husband and my kids and grandkids, but my sister and nieces and nephews. Well, only one niece. I'm going to be having a great niece in January. I can't wait to meet her. But anyway, um, just everything, everything in my life. Things could be a lot harder and worse and difficult. So, you know, during this time of the year, try to as little as a blessing could be try to concentrate on that and don't look at my bra strap because you know how professional I am and I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.